All right, we're going to make a espresso latte. Um, I'm a zero. That I'm mixing some September coffee. The cranberry punch. I think it's the best coffee for me right now. I love the taste. I can taste the uh, uh, the fruitiness of it. I can't really taste the caramel. Um, other people I make it for they could taste the caramel hev heavily. I'm going for 18 gram. Uh, I have to go a little bit over. I'll do 19. I just cleaned this out. My gutter grinder out. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of retention. So take that off. I'm going to put that on there and zero that out. Take the bellows off. And I'm going to do a little mist. Shake it up. Get going. I'll start my grinder up. Perfectly done. Shell out. Of course, when we saw a video, everything happens and moves for no reason. You can still hear a couple of beans in here, but I'll, I'll show you how I get pretty good um, coming out. I'll wait again. I'll have to do it one more time running through. We're at 16. Start up one more time. Again, this is made to have a hopper. Um, so I'll find a way to get it to work good for me if I spend all the money for another one. 18.6. I, I, I can almost bet we can almost get close to 19. What can we this time it'll be a liar, but we'll speed the process up real quick. Um, then we'll be in there making it. Eh, maybe not. 18.7, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. Let's see what the temperature is at. Uh, right, right where I need it. Shake that up. Get a little tap. Push on that off. Throw that back in there. Put that on there. I'm using the Weber Unifilter, uni Porter Filter. Get some WDT going. Get it kind of leveled off. Do a quick little. I think that looks pretty decent. Do a quick spin. There, we'll do one more tamp. Or do a tamp. And put my scale on there. Actually, gonna try it. Damn, it, I got the wrong one on there now. Anything on it? Who's? I need to do video. I'm gonna try this. It's a brand new one. It's the fellow. Um, 
uh, double walled ceramic mug of the copper base. It's made for a lot of art. I am you know, not much of an artist, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. Hopefully it'll, it'll work decent. I'm gonna go ahead and see the temperature's at. Two or three, about right where I like it. The rubber unit filter, filter is very fast. Um, I, well, when it goes too big, you can't really see much of it. You'll see it just start ramping. I know my shoe for about try try to do a 20 second pour. Looks like I'm going to be a tad over. There we go. There's what it looks like. I'm happy with that. I'm going to set that to the side. Take this off. Clean my steam wand out. pitcher of milk and this is my one pump of my own rose flavored syrup so let's see what we can get to happen here I probably won't make sure of the art because it's the first time I got a picture of this narrow do an art. I'll see how it turns out. I'm going to clean everything off. And let's see. Like I said, this is a different mug for how I never do latte art. It's it's a narrower and a lot taller than my curve ones. So I'm gonna see how bad it's work. I'm not even sure what, what level I start. Oh uh, hell. I could have went farther down. But, first time using that, I'm happy. And it's going to taste amazing. I'm just going to do a quick taste test. Oh, so good. I can taste a mild coffee, the rose, and the fruity forest. Ah. Uh.